Welcome back to Suvida Everything. You know, sometimes when you have a great relationship with your butcher, he just goes wild on you and sends stuff. <sighs> this is what my meat dealer sent me. I have absolutely no clue what this is. As you can see, it's small. It's not that large. I can tell that the ribs are small, but I have no idea what it is. I've asked him on the phone to give me a hint of what it is. and He told me, nope, this one, I want you to cook it however you think it's best. But I said, at least I got to know what it is. So I'm thinking this is deer. No, maybe a uh, world hog or maybe I don't know. I really don't know what it is. But hey, this was a gift from my meat dealer. So I'm definitely giving it a try. And once I opened it up, this is what it looked like. Once opened, I pick it up and I was like, whoa, it's separated on the leg. I don't think this is deer, but I still have no idea what it is. As I can see, there's a lot of silver skin. I see a lot of connective tissue, but how do you cook that? What is it? Whatever it is, is very lean. And as I'm digging around, I, I found a hair and the hair, as you can see, is dark, but I still have no idea what it is. The first thing I did was to get my bone scraper to scrape everything out as best as I could. Once I've done that, I found another hair and this hair is white. What the? What is this? Let's just keep cleaning it. After cleaning it up, I still don't know what it is, but I think it's some type of wild game. You know, to be honest, I've never been in this situation, but I like a challenge. So I believe I'm going to be making a marinade for this. The meat feels tough, but at the same time, I don't know what it is. So I'm going to be scoring it so my marinade can penetrate. And as I'm scoring it, oh my God, it is tougher than I expected. Trust me, my knife is sharp. And all it is is this silver skin. I can't get through it. So I decided to remove as much as I could because I knew we could not chew that. It is too tough. Once that was done, I scored it nicely and it was ready for my marinade. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below. I started with a little bit of Brazilian salt seasoning, hot chili flakes, a little bit of mustard powder. What's interesting is that mustard powder does help bring down the gaminess of any meat. Tamarack, grounded sumac, dry oregano, sesame oil, panzu sauce. To tenderize the meat, I am using Greek yogurt. If you have not seen my tenderizing experiment number three, you should. I'm going to link it on the description down below. Now all there's left to do is mix it well and our marinade is done. Now all there's left to do is bag it up and cook it sous vide. I'm cooking the mystery meat at 170 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 hours. We have our protein mystery meat cooked wait, at a hundred. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean mystery meat? Yeah, I don't know what I'm cooking. Oh gosh, here we go. This is another turkey. I can honestly tell you that's the only thing I am sure about, Mama. It is not a turkey. What it is, pfft, your guess is as good as mine. Anyway, it was cooked at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. It's ready. I'm afraid. Are you afraid, Mama? Oh. <laughs> Enough talking. Let's take it out. Let's do it. It does not smell bad. It smells, what does it smell like, Mama? It smells gamey, all right? So I think it's some type of game. Um, what it is, I have no, Mama, do you know what it is? No idea. No idea. It smells a little bit gamey, everybody. I don't know what to expect. The meat, as you can see, is quite darker than what we're normally used to. There's, I thought it was going to be boar, like a boar. That's no boar right here. So I, I, I maybe guys, one of those giant rabbits. Maybe it's a, <laughs> maybe it is a giant rabbit. Maybe it's something else. You know, I try to put the mustard to reduce the gaminess because I can tell that it's gamey just by the smell of it. 
But um, anyway, guys, we're gonna treat it like everything else because you know the name of this channel. And what is it, Mama? We sous vide everything. We sous vide everything, everything. So we gotta go and go with it. But anyway, I know it doesn't look that good right now. I don't know if it's going to look better, but I promise you I'm gonna give it a good try. I know it doesn't look that good right now. But watch this. All right, everybody, we have our wonderful meat. Ninja, what do you think, bro? Lion me, bro. <laughs> of course it's lion me, bro. Emilio, you made it, bro. Ninja, today we have something super exciting that you're gonna be so excited. I can't wait for you to try. You ready to try it? I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, let's cut them up, man. Let's do it. All right, Ninja, describe to the audience what does it smell like? Smell weird. Lion smell weird, guys. <laughs> smell like... Smells different yeah. than what we're used to, everybody. It must have smell a little bit as uh, roast pork. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, that's exciting. As you can see, we still got some juice. Can you show them some juice, Mama? I thought it was going to be extremely dry, but it's not. We got juicy, 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 which is good. So, Ninja, I'm excited to try it. I want to know what it tastes like. Go for it. This lion was eating a lot of hogs in there. It smells like pork. Yes. Go for it, Ninja. Let's go for it. I want you guys to comment below, everybody. If you don't know what it is, put down the comments below and let us know what kind of meat this is. Before you finish the video. All right, Ninja, go for it. Let me know. Describe what does it taste like? I mean, what does it smell like? How weird, bro. <laughs> in a good way or in a bad way? Uh, from here is in a good way. From here, change. A little really? Bit. Yeah. Okay. Remind me of something, bro. But I don't know where it is. Okay. Well, go for it. I want to know. Enjoy it. Oh no. Ah. Oh no! Don't do that, bro. Come on, bro. It's what you always dreamed of. Not bad. It's not bad, but it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is it gamey? No. It's not gamey. I was Strong flavor or soft flavor? I mean, for the way it looks and everything, deer? Deer? Hmm. Okay, all right, let's give it a try. This it, is it weird. It, is, it, is it strong or is it soft or is it. Describe it. What is it? It's not strong. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's standard, mm -hmm. and at the same time, it's kind of um, I don't know, man. It's difficult to describe. Oh, you're having a hard time. It's really difficult to describe. <laughs> it's not something that you eat every day. My turn. That's it. He saw your face, Ninja. He's not taking any risks. It's strange. It's not bad. No, it's weird. This cat or something? Cat, bro, come on. That's, that's a big cat, Ninja. Well, a lens or some stuff like that. I, also, <laughs> I hit a pepper yeah. there. <laughs> it's very tender. It's very strong. Whatever it is, it is strong, a strong flavor. Super strong. And and the spices but hit it's, you up. But it's it's not like it's bad, but it's not amazing, all obviously. Right, all right. If if ask me. Would you pay for this in a restaurant? No, hell no. No, no. But what if you are a hunter and you hunt this down and then it's your, you know, your price to eat it? Oh, it's something you can hunt? I have not. I, Mama, it's your turn. That's it? Mama, I got a really, really small piece. Oh, Mama. Mama, you're on a keto diet, bro. I'm trying to get something with a little bit of fat on it so I can really taste it. You guys made it sound like it was bad. It's not bad. No, it's we not bad. bad. We didn't say it's bad. It's, it's not bad. No, but really weird. Mm. It's different. It's not delicious, for sure. The meat is, it's 
difficult to describe because it's soft, but at the same time, it's a, it's like the ninja say, very fibrous. It's like you're chewing and it's breaking apart in chunks. The flavor is pretty strong, but it's a, it's a there's having a hard time finding the words for it because oh. it's a very strong flavor, but it's not. It doesn't taste like nothing. <laughs> okay, flavor-wise, I would say it's like a, almost like a tasty chuck. What? Just a chuck without any Ninja, sauce on you it. say it tastes like beef. What? Wow, you you really disappointed me today. <laughs> I've been trying to teach you this thing for years already. No, 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 no. no. no I, I'm just saying, like no, 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 no. It doesn't taste like beef. I'm, I'm trying to say the intensity of the flavor of the meat. Oh, no, it's strong. The first part that I got, I think, was a very internal part. It didn't have any of the spices, so I couldn't really get any of the flavor of the spices. I only tasted the meat itself. When the spices come in, the, what is that, mustard or saffron, it really kicks it up a notch. That makes it... That makes it really good. All right, Ninja. Ninja, this, for the first time ever, my good friend Emilio sent me my box of my shipment that I order, but he put this as a gift, as a mystery gift. So I mean, I if really... you want to give me a gift, maybe. <laughs> There's so a I... bunch of tomahawks and stuff you can send this away. Yes, yes, give me a tomahawk, Don't Emilio. Give me. If Ninja. this is not lying, Unless it's lying. Okay. I honestly, I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. And uh, just like you guys thought. So we have to pick something. Pick one. Deer. Deer. Mau Mau. A weird deer. Don't pick deer also, because if you pick deer, then we won't be able to tell Emilio that. Pick one, Mau Mau. Some, I don't know, like. Pick something, Mau Mau. We need to know, Mau Mau. Lamb, for antelope, I lamb. don't know. Lamb, he, Mau Mau think is lamb. I think is. Uh, how do you call that pig that goes like this? That has the thing like this? Warhawk. Warhawk. I think that's what it is. Uh, nah, it doesn't taste like pig. We're gonna find out right now because I really don't know what it is. I'm gonna call my brother Emilio. Let's see. I call, okay. Emilio! Yes, sir. Alright, so we just open up. You're in camera, so don't say anything special. Okay? Okay. <laughs> we just try out your uh, mystery meat over here. Ninja okay. say it was, what did you say it was, Ninja? Deer. Ninja say it was deer. Mama said it was... Lamb. Mama said it was lamb. I think it's a, what did I say, a warhog or something like that. We have no, we have no idea what this thing is. Emilio, tell us what it is. We want to know. Okay, Ninja, you didn't guess that one? No, bro. <laughs> Come on, you've been, ask, you've been asking for it. It's oh! Is it really lion meat, Emilio? It's lion meat, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, I'm, you know, I'm so disappointed. This is a little lion, bro. What kind of lion is this thing, man? <laughs> <laughs> Emilio, is this really lion? <laughs> you guys are ready? Yes. This is the most finest and delicate meat in the world. Okay, well, well, well it didn't taste like that. No? <laughs> no, it did not. Okay, so the, so the surprise meat is gold ah! if i would have known it was gold i would cook a little bit different gold emilio you know what ninja asked for he said if you want to surprise us next time instead of sending us gold send us a nice tomahawk emilio <laughs> <laughs> all right emilio thank you so much i know you're busy i'll let you go all right guys all right bye 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 so it's goat mama you came pretty close you came to clam uh this is doesn't i ate goats <laughs> i ate goat before it doesn't taste like it that. doesn't taste like goat because i think i try to mask it so much i thought i really thought it was gonna be like a uh a, a, a hunting like a, some type of game or something like that but uh it's goat everybody it's goat uh let me know in the comments below how you would cook goat sous vide if i know it was goat i would have done something different I would cook it, uh, maybe the spices in a different way. I would also put it at lower temperature because I think I cooked at a very hot temperature because I thought it was a wild game. And I have no idea what I would have done if it was goat, everybody. Anyway, are you surprised? Yeah, I wasn't expecting Let that. me ask you a question. When he started talking like that, did you think it was lying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I know it's... It's a little bit too small to be a lion, bro. Maybe a baby lion, I don't know. <laughs> 
Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Emilio, where's my lion, bro? <laughs> Stop lying for the lion! Tomahawk steak next time, Emilio. That would be a good surprise. Lion, Get out, bro. everybody. Bye-bye. Giraffe. <laughs> Giraffe. Hi hippo. Hip? That must be really fatty. You bro. think so? Yeah, they don't they have a lot of they're big, bro. Let's let's cook some hippo head, bro. I'm down for it. Well, it won't fit on the sushi bath. We I have a big pool in my house. There you go. I we have to put 15 circulators in there. <laughs> <laughs> See you on the next one, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>